to a new vlog into our new place so we've moved in as you guys have previously seen on my other vlog and we're in a new place i've actually set up like the skeleton part of my shop like i've lined up all the tables like i have my tables for my cutters and then i have my packing station and then i also have i'm watching um a girl with her baby but i forgot her name because um i just subscribed to her but i'm watching her and i've set up my main table as well for my filming setup i'm trying to set that up and i have this big window over here that just gives off all the natural light and i love it because it just sets off all the creative side of me like i just want to start you know doing my shop and making videos for you guys so it just kind of amps up myself as far as the creative side of me so i am currently like not uploading but putting in the footage in my computer with mia's birthday as well as our moving out vlog because they were kind of really close together i'm also trying to um upload my paycheck number two for june and hopefully have that up today but i don't know i'm so excited like it just makes me so happy and oh my gosh you guys have no idea how grateful i was yesterday like when we moved in here and finally settled in i was so so grateful that you know i was taking a shower in our shower and the water pressure was amazing and then i was kind of like oh my gosh this is amazing we have a bathroom we have two bathrooms i can bathe mia in a bathtub that she can sit on and i won't have i won't be so scared that she's gonna fall because that was always in my mind when i was bathing her because i wouldn't put her on the floor because the floor is kind of dirty over there i scrubbed it and everything it was just too dirty because it was like it was abandoned for years like that bathroom that we lived in like the garage it was a garage turned into a studio apartment so it wasn't it wasn't used for years and years that's why like the the dirt kind of stayed there oh my gosh i was so grateful and then i was making my coffee in the kitchen this morning i was like oh my gosh this is amazing um our fridge is empty so i have all that space the laundry is just right there and i can do my laundry i'm so grateful for the simple things that i've missed when i did have them and now even more because i have mia so everything's a lot harder when you don't have all these things now that i do i'm just really really grateful the reason why this room is not another room for Mia is because I really am scared. I think I explained this to you guys already, but I'm scared of people abducting my baby, like going... I know that can be kind of paranoid, but it's a constant fear of mine. Even before having a baby, I was always scared that someone's gonna steal my baby and do nasty things to them because it happens and it's it's so so sad so i think i'd rather be just overprotective than just you know regretting it later because you'll never know it happens to anyone there's no exemption and i just want to be as careful as i can and once we do well i feel more comfortable to have that she can have her own room then i can definitely do that for her i can move out all of my things out there if we are still here at that time um but for right now i'm grateful that i have this space and i can close the door when my two of my cutters are going and so my my husband can have some peace of mind but i'm just starting this vlog out because you know i ended the other one the same day without any makeup on but today's agenda is just basically tidying up cleaning up everything trying to organize and we also got to make a run to the walmart here which i've never been to the walmart here to get a couple of things i have a list i'll show you guys later i'm trying to set it everything up here right now because my husband and my baby is asleep i'm just gonna take advantage of that and do my work and set up my shop so i can open the shop already hopefully before fourth of july those are my inventory they're not gonna stay there but I have, do have a plan to buy something to have inventory on. But my husband wrapped it all up so that it wouldn't fall out. So that was amazing of him because <laughs> that would have all fallen out and I didn't know how to package it. And then he actually packaged my, my sticker cutter and he used me as stuff to protect it because like those little foamy things. We have like a new wi wives. No, 
knives and forks and spoons set. We've always had crappy ones, so I went ahead and bought some good ones. And then here is like the other stuff that we bought for the place. I'll show you guys. Yeah, so this one's the knives set that it came with a tray, which is amazing. And then we have all of these things in here. So we bought like we bought like basic stuff basically some light bulbs we're gonna try out um this thing that smells really good i love the snuggle and some more kitchen towels this one's like i don't know what that is but garbage oh and i love onions guys but i hate cutting them so i bought these off of amazon let me know if you want me to link them down below but it's just basically like a cutter and then there's gain, um, more light bulbs, because we bought two kinds and we're gonna see what we like the most. And then we're gonna buy more of them. And then there's a, what do you call this? Like a, it's like a pink set from Amazon for like spatulas. And then under here, there's a container set with Tupperwares that are glass because I heard these are better for you and then there's also a dishwashing soap here so just the necessities and those are Mia stuff let me go over some of the things that she actually got from her birthday so this this is not all of them but she got this one this one's her favorite it's like a little bikey thingy that she can ride around but she doesn't know how and there's other things I don't know if you guys can see me but because of the light but she got this little set that will probably teach her how to like categorize animals like that's a duck and stuff and I think they're gonna make sounds once you press them so I'm gonna open that up for her because I'm gonna try to rotate her toys and then she also got our friend Sierra got her these two amazing books from like Disney stories and I remember having these but like a lesser quality version but it has like all the stories for Minnie and Mickey Mouse and this is like five minute Mickey Mouse stories and then the Disney princesses and this one actually has the newer ones because it has Rapunzel and it has Moana the ones I had when I was younger were yeah Little Mermaid so I love these when I was younger she has those and she also got a book I'm not quite sure who was this from. I wish. Oh, oh, it has something. Oh my gosh, I love this. Okay, so. Okay, this is from my my friend Abigail. I love that she put her name in there. Cover you with his father's and under his wings. Okay, so she put a Bible verse in here, which I love, and then she put her daughter's name. So here it says, Mia, happy first birthday. He will cover you with his feathers and under the, his wings you will find refuge. Psalms 91 and 4. So this is from Isabella. That's her daughter's name. And this is the Lorax, Dr. Seuss. Oh my gosh, I'll keep this forever. Like all of her books, especially from the first year of life, I will keep. Like I'm a hoarder in that way. Like I keep like little treasure, like, like memory treasures. Somebody also gave us a bunch of these trucks that kind of retracts and then it pushes forward there's a bunch of them i lost them in the way and then somebody gave us like a spoon set like a to-go one for restaurants i think that's an amazing idea and a bunch of clothes so we're gonna start putting her on sleepers again because we stopped because at our place we actually got really hot so we would put her in just a shirt at night because she would like come out sweating so now she's actually cold again so all of these clothes will come in handy because she gave us a bunch. And the, this one's my favorite. This dress is so pretty. Oh my gosh. And I think these are 24 months. So she'll have time. I even put her on 24 months right now because she can she can still wear them. It's just kind of long sometimes. And there's also, there's also other books in here so this one is from our friend andrea and ethan so first words and then it has a little pop-up stuff so i'm actually going to set up like a book station for her because i really do want her to be into books like i'm not but i would love her to be and if not that's fine 
and then she also got a bunch of these cards which i will keep and i will kind of have like a notebook for her like an probably an ec notebook that's just dedicated for her first birthday and probably her um all of her knickknacks from the hospital like i'll have those together no bunny sparkles quite like you and this is from andrea i believe to carla and mingo you guys are doing an amazing job raising amelia i just want you guys to know that we hope we can be great parents like you guys oh my gosh you're gonna make me cry okay i haven't set, read this you guys are inspiration and we love you oh love andrea and ethan i'm gonna cry we hope you have a wonderful first birthday even though you probably won't remember it know that we will love you and can and can't wait to see you grow into this okay i can't read this anymore it's gonna make me cry because they're like really good friends of ours and they've been with us for a lot of things um and then this one oh my gosh okay so this one i think this one is from one of my mother-in-law's friends yeah from mandy and richard and they had the cutest little granddaughter named olivia she was cute and she was two so that's how i imagined mia to grow up because they're also um oh and this one's like a little um it came with two outfits but i put the outfit on mia already but this one's from andrea and ethan as well this is a cute i think i'll put this on her today actually so i'm gonna yeah put that on she always finds like the cutest outfits for mia and then she also got money so i'm actually gonna put that into her savings account which is still in my cash envelope right now because she hasn't reached a thousand so she got 75 dollars from her birthday so i'm excited because i can put that and add that into her savings and then she also got this custom card from one of my mother-in-law's friends Matiana. Okay, so that was her name. It was like a little girl. She has the cutest name and I could not remember it. And then my sister gave her this outfit and it's like a little Chinese outfit. It's cute. Um, I don't know. I think I'll put this on her like next year during Chinese New Year just to kind of celebrate it. We are not Chinese, but we do celebrate it a little bit in the Philippines. Not a lot of us but we do celebrate it uh, just a little bit but not too too much um i think we do celebrate that more than thanksgiving though and then there's another card it's your day so i'll keep these ca cards this is from miss patty and she gave us like a little bike thing for me as well but we actually left that at my mother-in-law's place so she can have that for her oh my gosh guys so yesterday right um my um my 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 husband he actually um left me here to get stuff ready like i was trying to wipe down everything and kind of set everything up for me and when she comes here and he told me when my mother-in-law had to say goodbye to mia that she she broke down like she cried and i kind of thought that she would and that's kind of why i didn't want to come because i feel so bad and i was thinking about it last night because she loves mia so so much they've been there with us with everything through anything even before mia they were there for both of us through our ups and downs they were there and when i came home from the hospital with mia in my hand like she hugged me because i guess she really wanted a grandchild like both of them my my father-in-law my mother-in-law they wanted a grandbaby so bad and they've been trying for girls right to have their own girl but they have three boys and because my my husband is the youngest so he was the last one and they told my mother-in-law that she can't have any more because it's gonna be dangerous for her because she had a c-section and my husband was like 10 pounds keep coming out so that was really dangerous so they couldn't have any more because they wanted to try for another one for a girl they really love mia not just because you know she's a girl but of course because um she's their grandbaby but that just kind of breaks my heart because she loves her so so much and she's used to seeing her every single day we'd leave her there or ask her to come watch me for a little bit if we have to go get something every time my husband picked me up from work 
um, she'd have to watch Mia so just breaking that habit is sad and knowing that we're all the way over here and she's scared of driving interstate so she have to go through an interstate to get to us now um, but she'll she'll overcome it she said and she'll visit us and visit Mia so this is a little sad and hopefully we do not plan to stay here in the city for a long time we do plan to move back once we figure things out as far as like what we really want to do it's hard but we're gonna try to establish Mia to a place because I don't want her to grow up here like I don't want her to go to any like learning facility around here because um, I'm scared honestly like the the windows and doors here one of, one of the daycares that we pass by their windows and doors has like um, what do you call those like the prison like it has um, like what do you call those? I forgot. But like it looks like a jail because it's locked up and everything. Like something's gonna go down. But I'm scared. But here I think it's pretty safe so far because there's nothing over here on our area ish. I don't know. Can't be too, too safe. <laughs> what? The liners, the plastic liner, and then the shower curtain. Yeah. Okay, we got two things. So far, we have this. Um, like a small little dresser and we're gonna do some groceries but we need some shower curtains right mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Think. Twink. <laughs> hey guys so we just came home from walmart we did a little bit of groceries around here and um so we have like a tilapia right here so they're individually wrapped so we're gonna freeze some of them and I should have laid this out, but I don't really usually do grocery hauls because we don't have a kitchen. But we got some bacon. If you guys didn't know, I love bacon. In the Philippines, I think these are expensive. So, or they don't have it. I think they have it, but we just don't buy them because they're expensive. And then there's hot dogs and chicken. There's like chicken breasts and hot dogs. These are just like meals that we can throw in. And then there's ground beef for a hamburger helper because we're going to be eating at home a lot and there's bread my husband always gets these bread because he's trying to be healthy a little bit and we have some Nutella for me and these I already bought these but I bought a bunch of these way back because for some reason at one time like during Christmas they sold these and then they never sold them again so I bought a bunch because I love them so much um, these are like instructions for the microwave that we got which perfectly like works perfectly fine oh there's butter that we need to put in the fridge actually this needs to go in the fridge but our fridge is pretty empty right now so this is gonna go in there and we also bought deli meat for sandwiches for something quick got cheese for the deli meat I like American cheese and I saw a sanitizer I needed it because my hands were smelling kind of funky with the, um, the handheld thingy from Walmart so I had to get one and I'm gonna strap that down in like on me and stuff but that's all the groceries that we got I think and then we got some milk for Mia we also bought these for the cabinets because they're nasty so I've been just trying to line them up on these drawers. We already wiped these down but it doesn't seem to make it any better so we're just gonna we're just gonna line them up. You came from a super important time in Riley's life. Uh, Be watching. First score to go. Oh, it was so amazing. We got food cooking. That Dada's cooking for us. Well, for me and Dada, we got some food here, and then we have rice here. 
and then we set up almost everything here on this side like we have stuff in here we also have stuff in here pretty much have everything set up and then we have our, like our little make-believe pantry over here and right there everything's good and Mia's over there love it <laughs> hey guys so it's 4th of July and we're vlogging today because it's Mia's first well it's her second but her first one she was like three weeks old two weeks old she was a peanut but here is her outfit we got it from Carter's I also have a shirt and Mingo has a shirt I'm not sure if she's gonna wear the hat show him the shirt it's a pretty good shirt I got it on oh what'd you say no not that but this one's for me even though we're not American well am I American I'm American you're the one that's not technically yet whatever and then show them yours this one's 2xl for yep, the yep. people that are guessing <laughs> Got it from Michael's. Yeah, it was spontaneous like a month ago that I got them. So we're gonna wake me up now because it's like five something. We'll go back. Oh my gosh, what are you doing? Mia. Yeah. Mia Mia. Looks brighter in here than it's usually. She does not look happy. I know, it's a shorter nap, Mama Bells. It's two hours. We we'll put it on a three. I don't know. What a hair wilding girl. We just gave her a bath before we laid her down. So she's fresh. Okay. We need to give her like bangs a haircut. Oh, she wants a mama. Amelia. <laughs> uh, We're gonna give her a bottle before we leave. Uh, I think that's give a good one idea. In the car, uh, no! What do you mean no? Give her one right now. What are you doing? Because I'm still getting my stuff ready. Go give her the doing? bottle now. I'll make the bottle. What are you doing? I'll make the bottle. So we can actually go to our kitchen now and make a bottle. <laughs> so we have her bottles right here and her milk is over here. Everything's so convenient. I really debated if I wanted to film today. Let me put you right here. Because, you know, I kind of wanted to be just something quick like friends gathering but we're documenting everything that's the first Hold on. no she tries to vlog herself like she tries to take over it or something okay guys so we're here at our old home that's where you used to be but we're picking up Mia's um portable crib just so when she wants to nap she'll have a space to nap we brought her sound machine and her blankets and everything and also other things right there that's just how it is when you have a baby we brought her that and other things like i also stopped by at walmart to get a steak for myself because i really want steak brought some rice and some soy sauce and vinegar for my steak i know it's weird but that's just how filipinos are any kind of meat we use soy sauce and vinegar and then got some honey buns just to snack on because we're starving so this whole <coughs> bus <laughs> this whole one trip has turned out to be longer than usual and you know, my husband's getting the stuff but yeah we're almost there Hey guys, so I don't remember what the last thing we um, kind of captured yesterday from the 4th of July. We just kind of got caught in the moment and also it's kind of hard filming while you're watching a baby in like an unknown environment. We tried to bring everything that we can, like her high chair, but she did not want to stay still, which is fine. We also brought her like a portable crib so she can sleep over there, but she did not want to sleep. She was scared of the fireworks, which is, you know, understandable, but she was just not having it. So, I mean, we had a good time, but it was kind of hard to film at the same time. So, that was our 4th of July. We did have, like, cookout and everything. That was fun, and we also had some s'mores. Today's the next day, and I am packaging some orders. I have, like, all of the order sheets right here, and I have, like, 13 orders. 
since yesterday since I opened my shop so I'm so so grateful to everyone who ordered and just everyone supporting my shop so I'm gonna be doing like orders today and I think we're gonna go to Walmart which I think we have to make a list of what we need to get I'm gonna try to make sinigang I saw somebody's comments like whenever we're settled down can I show them like how I make the food that I cook for um, show them like Filipino food cooking I will be honest I'm not the best cook I only know how to cook one thing which is sinigang and I actually forgot how to do it because I haven't done it in a while but I honestly don't cook guys my husband's the one that likes to cook but I'm gonna try to like gather some American food um, dishes or other cuisines so we can eat more at home because we've been doing so well like, eat eating at home since we had a kitchen we had hamburger helpers I don't think we've eaten out at all well if you count yesterday like we did go to the 4th of July party and you know we had to pay for food like that's like our share for them buying food and cooking the food so that counts i guess but we other than that we've been eating here at home we bought those like frozen tilapia like the pack of frozen tilapia at walmart and we've been just defrosting two at a time and then cooking it into like our inside grill and my husband seasons it really well we have like a side of broccoli with rice so that's been like a thing and then we had hamburger helper we had bacon and eggs we've been doing really well eating at home which i'm so so proud of us because it's also healthier and just easier on the pocket eating at home so that's going to be our deal today um, I don't know if I'll show you guys some packing stuff because I feel like I've exhausted like my packaging scenarios here. I don't really have anything new. from Walmart and we did some groceries I actually bought a couple of things for Mia here so I bought her some sandals and these are a size 3 and these fit her perfectly and she doesn't have any sandals or shoes I think since she's kind of walking ish um, these would be really helpful I also got her these there's no size 3 of these but this is a size 4 so she'll just grow into this and I got these from Walmart, like I said. And I really loved jelly shoes when I was younger. And of course, I took a picture for Instagram and try to get more active over there. And I also got it from her, her Mia fund. But I also got her this cute little Marie um, pajamas, like matching pajamas. And these are super, super cute. So this is going to be 18 months. It kind of looks small. Hopefully it fits her. She has a big pouch at the front. That's why some shirts doesn't fit her, but hopefully this does and I really hope, you know, if we ever have another baby that it's going to be a girl because I am just loving the girl section and I have a bunch of clothes and I bought these matching dresses for her. This is in a size 3T and I already went ahead with the 3Ts because she has a lot of cute clothes right now and I feel like this will not be available once she's 3. So I'm just going to keep these. I know that's kind of like counterproductive, but I just want her to have these. And then this one's the Anna one. So this one is like super nice too. So there's the Elsa and there's the Anna and they're both 3Ts. And they're so, so cute. I think I just eye everything for her now. Like I don't buy anything for myself unless it's like shop related or food. That's really honestly what I buy for myself. <laughs> And everything is for her, which is absolutely fine as long as she has the fun for it because we're separated now. So I am really, really grateful that a lot of you guys suggested to separate my money for her allowance because she's not like taking all of my allowance. I still have like, I think $100 in there and I honestly just use that for food. Whenever I want to go out and eat, I use that, especially with crab. When I eat crab, you should know that that's going to come out from my own allowance. Because I'm the only one that eats crab, 
around you know my family because Mingo does not like crab so I'm actually gonna put this up here just to kind of safe keep this because this is not something that fits her right now of course but hopefully when like she's like in December or next year it'll start fitting her so she can start wearing it because I think these are like night dresses but they have these little sheer added detail to them so if you ever want these I got them from Walmart and they're just so so cute I love them and the other ones I'll just keep around but I'm still working on orders guys I just got set back a little bit because we went to Walmart and we also went to other places like the Asian market which their Asian market here does not compare to the one I have before so I'm gonna have to go over there Wednesday when Mia takes her like one year shot for like her one year appointments so I'm gonna have to go get some stuff for my sinigang and I'm just watching YouTube while I'm packing I'm running out of YouTube videos here yeah, I'm gonna give you a fruit, okay? Like you put fruit. on that dirty stove. These are called rambutan. She's not gonna like it. What she likes it. I thought you'd be disgusted by it. Okay, so you crack them open. They're weird looking. Mm-hmm. You're sweet. Slimy. Oh, very slimy. No. No. She didn't even taste it. I think she wants the red. You came along, couldn't look away. Somehow you turned my life completely 